What did you learn from this game? Well, Skip, I, think, I thought the Lakers were lethargic the whole night. Um, they had a tough time dealing with Joel. I thought Joel and B was going to go for about 50. Because in the first quarter, Skip, they had no answer. What do you have, like 13 points in the first quarter? He was getting whatever he wants. He's a load. And that's what I think when you look at some of the greats, when they talk about Joel B, they see a man that's seven foot tall, 280 pounds, that can shoot the three ball. Mm -hmm. He can shoot mid-range. Obviously, he can post you up. He's a very good free throw shooter. Yep. And then some nights he comes out there and gives you nine points. Some nights he gives you 12 points. And Shaq loses his mind. He's like, bruh. You seven foot tall, 280. You should be averaging 30 and 15 every single night. And so I think that's yep. a lot of the frustration. And I thought he was going to go for 50 last night, Skip. But you see what the Lakers can be when they say, you know what? We finna lock this thing down. And they go on a, what, a 13-0 run to take a one-point lead and give uh, Tobias Harris. They did a great job, put him in a high pick and roll. He got LeBron up off him, got Caruso on him, and he was able to elevate and shoot the ball over the top of him. Um, but for me, Skip, is that the way LeBron, I'm watching LeBron play right now, I wish he would stay in that aggressive mode like he was the first half. He would have 22 in the first half on 9 or 13 shooting. Mm -hmm. And then what's he do come out of the third quarter, Skip? Try to get people involved. I will, and, 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 you know what? Go back to the Cleveland days. Yep. Come along. I, I, I got it going. I'm going to keep it going. And then he kind of got out of rhythm, and then he got back in a little rhythm. He still made some great plays, a great pass to AD to take the lead, Skip. But I just say, and AB, AD is struggling right now because, Skip, AD was 5 of 10 from the free throw line. And that's when you know a guy is struggling because when it, there's no, no contested shots, nobody banging against him, and he's struggling putting the ball into the, uh, uh, the, uh, the rim from the free throw line, yep. that lets you know he's struggling shooting the ball. And this is not the AD that we're used to seeing. He's still impacting the game in other ways, but AD, AD is better, uh, uh, better than this offensively. But... I like I, I like the fight that I saw. It shouldn't have come to this. They should have been. And once Gasol got in trouble, I mean, my is just too small for Joel and B's Kelly. Yeah, I mean, he, he can't do. I mean, and you you do all you can, but that's a big man. And Trez, what'd you say, Trez? Six seven, maybe two, maybe, maybe two thirty five, two forty, yeah. and he's giving up 40, 50 pounds to Joel and Bead. But I like what I saw. They got a game tonight. The question is, Skip, LeBron played, what, 38, 38, 38 minutes last night, yeah. almost 39? Mm -hmm. Is he going to play tonight against Detroit, considering that they got a Saturday night in prime time against Boston? Yep. And then they got, uh, they got Atlanta. So it's going to be very interesting to see because LeBron has played all, all 19 of the ball games where I, I was like, if you, I'd have told you, there ain't no way. Ain't no way he taking that. He should sit tonight. For his sake and the long-term health of his team's sake, the mental health, he should just take the night off. Skip, you know what I was thinking? I was looking at the schedule. I'm like, damn, they playing a lot of games. They really play it every other day, Skip. Well, they have to. <laughs> you know why? You got to get that money, Skip. We got to get that money. Okay. I hear everything you just said, but before I address all, the, all your points, I got to go back to the flashpoint of this game for me, which came in the third quarter. On a Joel Embiid drive, LeBron shocked me by going completely uncharacteristically out of control and shoving, two-hand shoving Joel while he was up in the air and shoving him back to where he lost his balance dangerously and falling on, the, on his back, and he's got a bad back to start with. LeBron got a flagrant foul for that, but to, to LeBron's credit, that's his first flagrant since 2014. Right. He's had six total flagrant fouls, and what are we in, 18, year 18? 18, 18. Yeah. Okay, six in 18 years. That's pretty Once good. every three years. Okay. I've told you, he, he's a nice man. He's a right. very nice, he's got a big heart, and he plays the right way. That was as shockingly out of character as, as any move LeBron's ever made on the court. It was a two-hand shove while he was airborne. Well, obviously... That's a cheap shot. That is a literal low blow. And Joel was very ginger trying to get up because he missed the, the previous game with a, a bad, bad back. back. Mm -hmm. So and he, he fell was, in a very similar situation like that. He fell he, similar to that. He did. So for the rest of the game, Joel was a little tentative and a little ginger in his steps up and down the court. And it took a little away from the beast of the East that he can be. And that's and, what stopped him from being the number one okay. overall pick was his back. Remember in college, Kip, hey, he had back surgery. He had back, he had foot, he had all kinds of things. Yes. Yeah, I've told you the story. Uh, somebody high placed in the Sixers called me to ask me 
hey, we know about all of his injuries. Do you think he can play? Because they know I watch it closely and that I have gut feelings. I said, absolutely yeah. he can play if you can keep him healthy. Right. But I don't know if you can. Right. Well, so far, barely so good. Because <laughs> you know what's happened even against Kawhi two years ago right. in the Eastern Conference Finals. He was sick and hurt and sick and hurt and sick and hurt. Well, he's always sick or hurt, right? Yep. That's been the problem. But when he's right, as he was in the first half or even the first two and a half quarters of this game, as you said, he's pretty hard to stop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so was it was there a method to the madness? Not that LeBron was trying to hurt him, but was he trying to send a message? You know, we're not going to let you just lope in here and dunk on us. Right. I don't know. And his feet got tangled up. I, I think when LeBron was like, Okay, you're not going to dunk on me, and yep. then Joel Joel kind of got off in, uh, off balance, yep. and LeBron was right there, and his feet got swept out from up under him. I don't think if his feet doesn't get swept out from under him, I don't think he falls like that. But that's a big man that's hitting the ground with no protection because he didn't have a chance to brace himself. Nope. And maybe that's a good thing because he probably would have tried to brace himself and maybe, maybe hurt, hurt himself even worse. Yep. You're, you're probably right. Okay, so now let's go to the fourth quarter. You're right. The lug the Lakers look sluggish and lethargic, even. Even for the first, I don't know, seven, well, yeah, let's do seven minutes of the fourth quarter. Yes. Because at the 521 mark, LeBron departed. Yes. And I thought it was for good. Yes. I thought they just said, okay, that's enough. Right. We got a game. C come over here, sit down, take the rest of the night off. At that point, they were down 12. And LeBron had missed three free throws in the first part of the fourth quarter. He'd made one three. He was one of three from the field and four of seven from the free throw line. And it, it wasn't enough to get them back in the game. So they're down 12, and immediately Tobias Harris hits a jumper, and they're down 14 with five minutes left. Right. W when you think it's over? Right. Okay, what do I not love about the Philadelphia 76ers? I love Doc. Uh, I love his impact that he's going to have on this squad. Right. But they don't have a pure point guard because Seth Curry is more of a two to me. Right. And Ben Simmons is some hybrid, you know, point forward. Right. But as far as some Rondo-esque point guard who can get them set and right. get them some fairly easy looks and right. baskets, right. they don't have it, and they fell completely apart down the stretch on offense. Because, Skip, they really don't have a guy that uh, would accept – I mean, Tobias Harris went and got his own shot last night. He did. But if you throw the ball to Joel Embiid, I can double him in the post. I'm not worried about Ben Simmons shooting. I'm not worried about him driving because no. you don't want to go to the free throw line. No. So basically you got to worry about Seth Curry spotting up. And see, that's what happened with LeBron. LeBron probably should have fought over that pick so he doesn't get okay, the smaller I'm, Caruso okay, on him. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Could, if we could see this, this is my pet peeve about the whole league. Everybody the, the, switch today, everything. everybody just switches like it's – it's. you can fight over it. Yeah. Because who do I want on Tobias on the last shot? I, I want LeBron yeah. James. I want him to shoot over 6'9", right? as opposed it's to 6'3", 6'4". Six, 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 okay, here we go. And LeBron, don't, don't just but switch I think, it. I think the thing was, Skip, is that they saw Seth Curry. And Seth Curry is, is shooting he's a pretty high percentage oh, from the three-point line. Not last night. But he, no, he, he wasn't last been. night. Yeah. And so I, I think that's what scared LeBron. Okay. And he w waited maybe a, a tad too long to probably try to go get the double team. Okay, but, so what's Tobias get away with? A little shoulder bump yeah. on Caruso, who's just too little. Right. Not that he's a little man, right. but, but he got bumped off to create space. And he goes up and he swishes it. Right. If LeBron fights over the pick, and I don't even think it, it it wouldn't have taken that much effort just to jump through the pick right. and stay on him. I'm not sure Tobias can make that shot over 6'9". Right. Yeah, that would have been very interesting to see that. But give Tobias credit. He got to the spot that he wanted to be, Skip. He elevated, and it was pure. It wasn't no bounce, hit mm -hmm. the rim. It was it – was, I thought it was short. That's how that's how pure it was. It I was thought the soft, ball, pure. It was. <laughs> it was. I know when it left his hand, I thought it was short, and it switched. It switched. Okay. So, Give, give them credit, Skip, but I like what I saw from the Lakers fighting down. And Doc mentioned it. Doc said, you know, hey, yeah. I'm proud of my team. We won the game. But what that team showed you is that they're the champions for a reason. They showed a lot of fight. Going a 13-0 run, Skip, give them credit. But like I said, it, I'm, I, I'm anxious to see what LeBron does tonight considering that they got a primetime game against the Celtics. Yeah. Who, they, they lost the other night. Yeah. But, but the, Detroit. They, wait, who they lose to? Celtics? They lost last night yeah. to the. Spurs. Let's give them oh, some credit. Oh, my goodness. They're still there. They're still barely alive. Come well, on. What, what, what's your, what are y'all? It doesn't AC? matter. Don't worry about it. We got the Celtics last night at home. Y'all did. Y'all got yeah. it last night. So. Okay, so here's your issue right now. Mark Gasol played 24 minutes last night and got a grand total of two rebounds. 
you are soft in the middle. He's a little soft in the middle, but you are. Yeah. You're missing Dwight Howard. You're missing JaVale McGee. You need to shore up the middle of your defense with some some passion, some energy, some edge. You well, don't have that well, from we, Well, we're looking at the trade deadline, Skip. We're looking yep. at some buys. Maybe somebody can get bought out. I just hope that the Cavs don't – well, look, the Cavs is not going to do the Lakers any favor. LeBron's on that team. Maybe if LeBron wasn't on that team, yep. they might be willing to do do something. Now, I think they want to keep Jared Allen. They're probably looking to trade uh, uh, JaVale McGee. Yep. Maybe they buy out uh, uh, Andre Drummond, um, $28 million. The question is, would somebody trade for Drummond Skip knowing that he's going to be a free agent? Give up assets knowing somebody that you might not be Good there. Good point. So, I would agree. So he probably get bought out. And I just hope if he get bought out, he go to the Lakers. Okay, I don't. It's good. If, yeah. if you, you do know it's, it's repeat, right? Mm. If if Andre Drummond gets bought out and he goes to the Lakers, it's over. Really? It's over. Well, then who's gonna make free throws on that? Don't team? worry. Don't worry about it. We'll oh. need no free. Do you know how many rebounds? Mm. That's the best rebound in the game right I now, Skip. No, he is. He's a machine. <laughs> He's a rebounding machine. He is. Good. Okay. Last quick point. We're gonna talk about the Nets. Nothing but Nets. Yeah. And here they come as the biggest challenger out of the East to the Lakers, in my opinion. So they won again last night, but they missed a shot at the end of regulation because they have no play. Steve Nash just says, you guys just figure it out. Just street ball, right? <laughs> yeah. And James Harden took a shot that I didn't think he should have taken. But I want to give your team credit because you have a basketball team. You have a well-coached team, in large part by LeBron, because out of a timeout, when you needed to score a basket to take the lead, which I thought was going to stand up as the lead when you went up by right. one, what happens out of the timeout if we just see this play? This is beautiful basketball to me. They run a pick. Schroeder goes and picks for AD on the wing, and he just flashes across the paint and gets a lay-in and made Embiid look foolish right. on that play, right? Okay, and LeBron hits him with a sweet bounce pass because he sees it coming. That's that's a play that was called in the huddle, maybe by LeBron or by Vogel. But I don't know. if you remember, Skip, they got the rebound. They go down. Mm -hmm. LeBron not liking the way the set's going. He calls timeout. Okay, all right. But they ran a play yeah. that I don't see the Nets ever run a play. Yeah. I just see Harden and Kyrie and KD looking at each other like, Your turn. are you going to do turn. it or yeah. am I going to do it? And last night, James tried it at the end of regulation, and it did not work. Yep. Okay. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.